equipment what would you like everything I craft is sure to be useful against the shadows give them a go will you you gotta What will it be? So, what will it be? You gotta tell now. Are you? Did you change your mind? What would you like? I'm sure this will prove to be useful. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon. I'm gonna think of this. Baby, still with me. I'm counting on you. Good to see you. What'd you bring? I never feel like. Wanna sell? All right, I'll take that. Uh, I've got some new things in stock. Check it out if you've got the time. Everything looks good. Great. It's all yours. Baby, 
Well, Blake, what are you looking for? Everything looks good. Great. It's all yours. Uh huh. What are you looking for? Everything. All right then. All done here. Be seeing you. She's, she's crying because she's happy. She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down. It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. It's been so many years since then, but they still remember him. They've given their precious time for our son. I, I don't know what to say. I I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? knew it from the very beginning. From the first time I saw you, I knew you were different from the other kids around here. You're a samurai, a modern day samurai.
Before you know it, you'll graduate and step boldly into adulthood. Don't forget about us, you hear? Someday I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. See you again soon. I wonder if I should have gone for the one-piece suit instead. These halter-top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels a little weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've chosen my own swimsuit, but there wasn't much of a selection for the one-pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan again what she thinks. Although... I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! Hello, Freak! 
high-frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's TV show. It said online it was very effective for its price, so maybe it could do some help before the trip. Now let's see... How do I turn this on? Uh, no! This... <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> oh, what do I do? Yamagishi, do you have a moment? <sighs> it's scary to some <laughs> I, I, I have to get the door. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm. <laughs> I'll be right there. <laughs> oh, um, am I interrupting anything? Full moon once again. Any luck, Yamagishi? Yes, I can sense it. There's a shadow reading tonight, as expected. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's located by the deserted houses in the northern part of Iwatodai, but there's something strange. The reading is coming from underground. Almost ten meters. Maybe it's in some kind of basement? According to the records for the Northern Harbor, there are no structures that match that criteria. However, there once was an underground facility used by the military. The military? Is that true? Well, the architectural and geographical data for the area was uploaded into her memory. Then again, the information hasn't been updated in ten years. Correct. The data is 10 years old. Shouldn't someone fix that? So how exactly do we proceed? We won't know more until we actually get there. Old relics of war. It seems the situation is still unclear at this time. With that in mind, we'll wait until we arrive before we decide who should be deployed. Agreed. Understood. All right, let's go. I didn't know there was a place like this so close by. Target should be around here somewhere. <laughs> well done. Who are they? Lucia couldn't sense them at all until now. It's so nice to finally meet you in person. My name is Takaya. This is Jin. We are known to some as Strega. Now then. We've been keeping an eye on your activities for some time. From what we hear, you've undertaken a righteous battle to save the world. 
Unfortunately, we've come here tonight to put an end to that. What did you say? You've gained many new allies in such a short time. No doubt because this land crawls with sin. Ah, Tartarus is towering as beautifully as always. You know... Wait, why the hell would you want to stop us? <laughs> it ain't rocket science. If shadows in the dark hour disappear, we could lose our power. And that's not something we can abide by. Get it? Power? Are you saying you're Persona users too? I implore you to think more carefully. Do you really want to lose your abilities? Not just anyone can wield the power of a Persona. The Dark Hour is a frontier that is ours alone to explore. And the same goes for the Tower of Demise. That's your reason for stopping us? Then you're the ones who need to think. Who knows what might happen if we don't do something? A catastrophe brought on by the shadows. What difference does it make, really? Disasters will always exist. And humans will always destroy each other, regardless of what the shadows do. Either way, no one can predict what misfortunes will befall who. But more importantly, it's time you accepted the truth. Surely you will acknowledge the sense of fulfillment the Dark Hour has given you. Yeah, you think I like this? Is it not so? How about the rest of you? Do you also wish to return to your pathetic ordinary lives? Huh? I don't enjoy this at all. Whatever. You all got your own selfish reasons for fighting. That so-called justice of yours? <laughs> Ain't nothing but an excuse. There's nothing righteous about any of you. You're all just hypocrites. Like hell you chumps are gonna stop us. What did you say? <laughs> Have fun in there. Damn it! They locked us in. There is no need to panic. Instead of wasting resources, I recommend we prioritize the shadow first. Right. If we freak out, then we're just giving them what they want. Shadow's moving. I think it's noticed us. All right. Let's focus on our original goal. We can look for a way out after we've won. Go ahead and select your team. Everyone, prepare for battle.
Persona users aside from us. Lucia couldn't sense them at all. Sorry, I'll concentrate on the shadow. The target's gaining speed. It's continuing down the tunnel. Hurry and chase it down. The target stopped. It turned around. It's waiting for a front lockdown.
step at a time. Let's go!
this Get one. Him hell. Yes, I'm here. This is Mitsuru. We've neutralized the target. Ah, good work. Come on back. Actually, there's been a complication. We ran into some interference during the mission. It seems they were Persona users. Persona users? Yes, more than one. They appeared during the dark hour and seemed to know who we were. Hmm. Did they say anything that might give us a hint to who they are? Now that you mention it, I believe they called themselves Strega. Strega? Hmm. All right. I'll see what I can find out. Thank you. There's one other thing I have to report. We unfortunately fell into Strega's trap, so we're locked inside the facility. Ah, I see. Since the threat has been eliminated, I'll send someone over as soon as I can. I'm sorry for the trouble. We'll be waiting. Other Persona users. <sighs> Which ones? Now, thanks for coming. Done already? Come again, yeah? Technique. And I'll do it too. 
Go, 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 go! Ow! Hot, hot! Looks like it's a tie. <laughs> Not many people can keep up with me. I'm impressed. <laughs> Same here. I didn't think I'd win that one. Ooh. Had a lot of gods challenging me at Takoyaki, though. I respect that. I knew you had potential when I met you. The way I see it, ties no better than a loss. I'll do like I promise and run a hundred laps around the city. You do whatever you think is best. Heck of a fight today. See you around. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. By all means. Very well, then. Good day. I shall a shame. <laughs> then let a shame. in the fridge to make a cream stew. I've heard it's healthy from leaf to core, so I'll go ahead and use the entire thing. As you can see, I've done my homework. <laughs> Did you come prepared? 
you know, uh, uh, whatever. I'll ask you again once you've eaten it. Okay, less talking, more cooking. I'll handle the main dish with the cabbage. So how about you start on the rice and stuff? I'm stuffed. We made short work of that, huh? So, how'd you like today's meal? Oh, you said it! You actually said yum! Finally! I just had to get you to say it today. Hey, remember what I said the very first time we cooked together? That I'd make it so delicious you couldn't help saying yum. I'm pretty stubborn, you know. But I gotta say, it's nice seeing the look on someone's face when they're eating something they really like. It's not just about proving myself. It's that I really wanted to see that smile again. <laughs> what, did that make me sound selfless? Sorry, but this is still a two-way street. Next time, it's your turn to do something for me. Let's make some yummy memories together. Today. Let's do this again when you have some time. Okay, let's hurry and get this cleaned up. Hi, how are you doing? I remembered a little more. The end won't be brought about by any one person in particular. It's going to happen because there are many who wish for it, almost as if it was decided from the beginning. But isn't it strange that there are those who would wish to bring about the end? Hmm, I see. Well, I guess if you're unhappy, you'd want it to be over quickly, huh? Otherwise, you might end up consumed by hatred for everything in this world. Well, enough of that for now. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you today. Soon, the flowers of poison will bloom. Three in the rival garden, and one in your own. I don't know if this has anything to do with the end, but you should be careful. I'm happy to hear you say that. I'll let you know if I find out anything else. That's what friends are for, right? night. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. It's me. I'm sorry to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Good morning. There's actually something I need to tell everyone, but I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. So I'd like for all of us to meet in the command room tonight. I'll see you then.
Takoyaki. Oh, I think I know now. I'm gonna go with Mom. She can't cook or clean or do anything on her own. So I'm gonna be there to help her. I think Dad's gonna be okay by himself. He can get along fine without me. So, um... Mom and I are gonna move away soon. <sighs> hey, even if I'm gone, we'll still be friends, right? Mm -hmm. Friends forever. Ever and ever and ever, okay? You can't forget about me. Never, ever, okay? I gotta get ready to move. So I have to go home now. See you later. Okay? Have we received a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. designed to help control his persona. Basically, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean Koromara was going to fight with us? I honestly wasn't expecting this either, but the test results show it's quite possible. In fact, it was actually a request from the chairman. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Koro-chan, is this what you want? He says... I'm returning the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Hey, sounds good to me. I, for one, welcome him with open arms. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? All right, I'll take him for a walk. And it's the perfect time, because it's summer break. Yes, it is. You're free to enjoy your vacation, but don't forget about your schoolwork. Summer classes start next week, so don't lose focus just because we have a lot of time off. Uh, summer... wait, what'd you say? Summer classes. Did you not hear about them? We're going to be taking supplemental courses. I've already applied for all of us. I know how difficult it's been to balance both school and our late night excursions. I'm sure you haven't had much time to study, so I apologize for that. The chairman agreed it was a good idea as well. I could have sworn I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? First I've heard of it. Oh, um, sorry. I completely forgot to mention it. No way. Hey, you're the one with the worst grades here. Why are you so surprised? Come on! I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it sucks. Don't you think? Uh, well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's do our best. Precious, luxurious veggies. Man, all this non-stop watering and weed pulling, not to mention the bugs, it's pretty monotonous. Kinda just feels like busy work. Like a what? 
the hell does that even mean? But, uh, maybe you have a point. You gotta treat it with love and kindness. Sound about right, oh wise one? Gotta say, we've got a long way to go before these veggies put us on easy street. Anyway, I'm the one who asked you to join me in the first place. So I gotta be the one to look after. Da, 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 da. The veggies have leveled up. Whew, another day of hard, honest work. Let's head back downstairs. Melon, ain't she? It's the highlight of my day. So, I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Especially Amada. He always looks so bored when I see him in the morning. And man, that kills me to see. It'd be a real shame if he didn't have a single entry in his summer picture diary. see the look on his face. He'll be like, Toothpaste on, you're super cool and you're super nice. Oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a soft spot for kids. And you know what that means? I'm gonna need your help. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? And you, no oh boy. I think my arms are gonna fall off. Yes, today shaping up to be a glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. What? Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? That's more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. Yeah, for real. Without you, it would just be me and him, you know? And isn't that just the saddest thing you ever heard? Well, when you put it that way, I guess I don't have a choice. I know, Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. He didn't forget about you. All right. What are we waiting for? The youngest is to draw first blood. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> oh yeah, where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. You got that. That bat and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. Must have never had a chance to talk about it. But that I used to play baseball. I mean, anyway, that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Ah, uh, well, nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. <laughs> What's wrong, bud? Dying to chomp on some melon? Come on, Kormaru. We can't swing at the watermelon with you in the way. 
Koromaru? Hey, why don't we use something other than the bat? See? Senpai thinks so, too. And what else are we gonna use? Um, anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. Interesting? Kind of a weird request. Oh! Like if Sonata Sad uses bare hands? Someone say my name? Whoa, Sonata San! <laughs> well, when I got back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof, so I came to check it out. Hmm. Watermelon splitting, huh? That's right! We were just talking about what to use to hit it! You're not gonna use that bet? My fists on this? Oh my god, yes! I'd actually love to see that! That's okay, right, Jubei-san? Huh? Uh, sure. If that's what you want. All right. Guess I better make this good then. Hey, try not to go all out or there won't be any left to eat. You're incredible! What? What? What the heck? How are we supposed to eat it now? Can't believe that thing was still edible after it exploded like that. Didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but looked like a mod ad. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? You know, before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole bat thing. You were just trying to be thoughtful. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead, kid ends up pitying me. <laughs> Don't worry about me anymore. I'll just get even sadder, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault. Uh, how the hell do I put it? This is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life, my teenage years, is just all over the place. Anyway, I think we're done for today. Yeah? Appreciate you helping me prep and clean up. Well, let's head back downstairs. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Kuro-chan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey, don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. Anyway, so, Mr. Chairman, uh... About those summer classes. Ah, yes. I heard about Kirijo kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Uh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girl. Awaiting me by the shoreline. 
the city or the shores. Pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Hmm? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Oh, that's where Sonata-senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh, maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots. <laughs> has grown into a fine adult as well. I believe this is mission complete. Well done. I tried to do everything in my power. I'm glad I was of service. The ladybug put in a lot of work as well. We thank you for your service. I've realized something, tending these plants alongside you. I've made many new discoveries beside these planters. Everyone is doing the best they can to make their way in the world. That goes for the plants, and the pests, and the ladybug too, and you as well. I may be a machine, but I also want to do the best I can. I will do my best to make my way in the world, just like everyone else. That is my new goal from now on. I am impressed. I hadn't expected a competition here. Hearing that, my motivation is fully charged, as they say. I will still continue to look after them at full throttle. Let's get started right away. Once again, our mission has concluded without incident today. Let's head back now.
Please. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. Although we could have done it another time and taken a full day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you performed so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? Good to hear. And I don't think there will be any issues with your test results either. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done, especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown, and we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past 10 years. <laughs> I'm afraid I can only support you from behind the scenes, but I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? Oops, excuse me for a second. Hello? Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh-huh. Yes. It's missing from that document? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? Iwatodai, Iwatodai, this is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. You're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. We were starting to get worried. Um, did you run into any trouble? Oh, I see. I hope everything's all right. I'll let Kirijo Senpai know. We're in the command room right now. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm sure you'll be fine. But considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe.
Wait, I can sense a shadow. And it's really close to you. It's over at the Moonlight Bridge. It's too dangerous to go alone. You should stay put until everyone else gets there. Oh no, there's another reading near the shadow. It's a person. we hear so much power so much chaos I'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator and on top of that we have an unexpected guest tonight not a very favorable situation all things considered so given this little predicament how do you intend to partake So long as you aren't against me, I will allow it. I don't know what our foe is capable of, but I trust you can protect yourself. Your persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? I'll see to it that I remember. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you all right? Did you already defeat the Shadow? Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay. Yes. I'm sorry.
suggestion. Oh. Yes. seems to be enjoying himself. He's able to go on cherished walks together with his friends. This must be where the summer festival I have heard about will be held. For what reason is it required to equip oneself with this yukata? I would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further. Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? You seem to be holding something. He wants you to have this. Perhaps it was part of his secret stash. Shall we return to the dorm? Let us come again, Koromaru-san. Looks rather busy. I guess, be sure not to stray too far from us. Are my words even registering to you? Yes. With the amount of data there is to collect here, I cannot help taking time to process. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? this aroma. This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. Coming right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? Hmm. Oh, extremely high temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. What are those? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. Hmm. Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. I look forward to that. Hey there, ladies!
ladies, wanna try your hand in a lucky draw? Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Hmm, why don't we give it a try? Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! I have won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in combat against the shadows? Here, let's trade. In exchange, I'll give you these marbles I won. They're beautiful. Don't you agree? Well, I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. Wedding rings. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the hanged man arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the hanged man within thyself.
Close your eyes, okay? <laughs> Don't be so shy. Well, bye-bye. We'll see each other again, okay? I just know it. New stuff we got in stock. Which ones? That's all. Hey, you got everything you need? Thanks. That reminds me. <sighs> Which one? So, what will it be? Are you sure? Here, it's all yours. What would you like? You're sure? Here, it's all yours. What would you like? Are you sure? Here you go. Thanks for waiting. You're sure of Here you go. Thanks for waiting. So, what will it be? Everything good? Hope to see you soon. Oh, 
some new things in stock. Check it. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Uh-huh. What are you looking for? Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. I've been waiting for you. Whew. Flowing stairs that pose an obstacle to those who dare to reach another floor. So, this is an escalator. A simple contraption at first glance. But one false step will leave one mired in an exhausting ordeal. To all customers, for your own safety and the safety of others, please do not move in the opposite direction of the escalators. Thank you. Oh my. It seems that these customers may come to harm. We'd best exercise caution ourselves. And what is this? Please watch your step. There is a pitfall just ahead. Why, it's right over here. There, in the center of this fenced-off area, it's marked with eye-catching signs, proclaiming in bold print, do not enter. Humans are frequently drawn to what has been forbidden. This is a crafty snare, one that defies the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Flowing stairways, pitfalls employing high-level psychological tactics. Human authorities truly go to great lengths in their quest to preserve the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their dedication to the cause. Let us carry on. Our thoughts with the unsung heroes who give their love and lives to this town. Oh, this tantalizing fragrance. Can it be? Whoa! You can figure out our secret ingredient with just a whiff? I guess you got a funky sense of smell to go with your funky sense of style, lady. Well, there ain't a law saying takoyaki shops can't cook other stuff besides octopus. So, how about it? Wanna buy some? I swear my takoyaki's so good it'll make your jaw drop. Cuisine so scrumptious that one's jaw can drop off? I imagine that would warrant urgent medical care, realistically speaking. But I would very much like a taste. Unfortunately, this is all I have on me at the moment. I do hope this is sufficient. No need to consult me. My curiosity far exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, a single serving is only 400 yen. <sighs> Well, well then, two orders of your finest takoyaki, please. Thanks. Here you go. And come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy skin, there's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to see this used as a cooking ingredient. yet to even unhinge. But for the better, I suppose. There are many other delicacies I must try. It wouldn't do to lose my jaw before sampling each and every one of them. 
There appear to be several dining establishments around here. We must simply visit all of them. My first priority is to go to something called a net cafe, where one may use something called a soda fountain. This apparatus allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various solutions. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. <sighs> I see. My, oh my. Oh, how intriguing. We appear to have exhausted every dining option in this area. Oh dear, is something the matter? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. In any event, I must thank you for your delightful company. I shall certainly savor this experience. If you don't mind, I'd very much appreciate it if you were to escort me again sometime. Accepting a request? Wonderful. Mark. <laughs> oh my, you've already fulfilled the requirements. Marvelous. Think of it. I will await a report of s you must know. I feel quite motivated. I will await a report of success. A shame. I will await a report of success. Of course. By all means. By all means. Very well. Accepting a request? Wonderful. Oh my. <laughs> you have my thanks. Very well then.
are my requests. Let's hear the results. My apologies. Very well, then. You register it to the compendium oh. registered. Are you in search of new power? This is your progress so far. Browse to your heart's content. Acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look. Appetizers. Excuse me, sir. Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Coming right up. Once you taste this, my friend, there is no going back. Ton 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 noodles. Yes, that's three. Count them three tons. This is the crown jewel of the secret menu here. Even better than the Hagakure bowl! The simple, salt-based broth, complemented by the rich, spicy miso sauce. It's like a microcosm of the miracle of creation! It's all about that secret menu. Although, how will people find it if it's too secret? Eh, whatever. The harder I think about it, the hungrier I'm gonna get. Oh, sir! Don't toss out that first bowl, all right? That soup and I have unfinished business. This is a huge honor for you, you know? You're only the second person to taste this after me. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off.
me. And just so you know, you wouldn't be getting this with my younger brother. Because the Gourmet King's brother is not the Gourmet King. So, do you get me, hmm? Who am I? Go on, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. My word, not so loud! Are you trying to embarrass me? Here, have some of my boiled egg. I had a couple of bites, but it's still good. Then, no more talking. The food's gonna be a chewy, flavorless mess if we don't eat up. Sir, sir, you saved that first bowl, right? Cause I'm gonna be needing it. Damn it! I still can't stop thinking about what happened in Yakushima. You're telling me I can't carry a conversation any better than Junpei? How can I be on the same level as that idiot and his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, no specific examples come to mind, but I think I at least do that much. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. When people speak to you, do you tend to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake among inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling first. <laughs> oh, damn it. I guess they've got a point. Try practicing by imagining you're asking a female friend or colleague to your favorite store. Remember, it's important to smile and have a sense of humor. Huh. Um, uh, hey there. Uh, what great timing to see you here. Nice one. I'm going to, uh, Umiushi. <laughs> Wanna come with? Oh, humor. Uh, humor. You know the beef bowl place? Hey, maybe we could meet up there, huh? Get it? What am I, the chairman? Screw this! Oh. 
Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. my requests. Let's hear the results. That is a great relief. Very well. We've been waiting for you. I wanted to tell you the good news as soon as possible. It's about a customer who came by earlier. Who do you think it was? Here's a hint. Signature. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought that hint might have been too vague. But yes, it was one of the organizers of the campaign to save the persimmon tree. He said, Let's protect the tree together. He's already gathered a number of signatures from students who are in our son's class. Everyone's banding together to honor the memory of our son. He really was loved by many. Of course. He was our proud son. I'm sure he's just as happy as we are. All right, let's go to GeckoCon right now. I have to tell my son the good news. That's my boy. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> I've never been so excited to go for a walk before. race to the persimmon tree. I won't lose, not even to a youngster like you. All right, dear, we'll be back. Thanks for watching the store. I recently expanded my outdoor exercise regimen. 
and I wanted to boost my nutrition to match. So I got some pork liver today because it's supposed to be rich in iron. But I don't think it'll taste like much if I just boil it like usual. That's why I'm gonna try cooking a pork liver stir fry. I already looked up how to make it. Think you can help out? Good to hear. You like this dish too? I've already cleaned the meat ahead of time. All that's left is to cook the liver and stir the chives and bean sprouts in. And that should be it. Wow, this is great! I guess it was a good thing I took the time for all that prep. They say a boxing match is decided before the bell even rings. Maybe this is kind of the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. Obviously, this wouldn't have been possible without your help. I've still got a lot to learn. But it's hard to make time for it with all my training and stuff. Maybe if I attach weights to the pen when I'm flipping, I could kill two birds with one stone. Yeesh, he's a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring? Hmm? What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. Out of the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No, uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? And I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Eh. Oh well. Dear, there's a mistake there. That's not how you write, Gekokon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Uh, I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. Why, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know. No! 
Oh, oh no, no, don't look. I'm shy. <laughs> we'll tell you when the time is right. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? We are, too. Your enthusiasm is contagious, you know. Just talking with you is enough to make our hearts race. Just look at my wife. She's as giddy as a schoolgirl. Said, uh, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next visit. Negotiating with Koromaru-san. Koromaru-san is prohibited from going out for a walk on his own. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata-san has yet to return. Koromaru-san's patience has reached its limit. Koromaru-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Are you available to assist at the moment? You are what they call a lifesaver. human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. However, my fascination lies more with you. Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Let's have a little chat. Come along. What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? We don't serve any particular grand purpose. Had you simply stayed your hands, we could have avoided a needless confrontation. In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet... You insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? Is that truly how you feel? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year, and yet... There is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. 
giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. <laughs> your dog doesn't seem to like your answer. However, self-reflection is a good habit. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours, yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet. Oh, 